The super mayor, Tiffany Hanger, often brags about all the money that she is going to bring to the township. The $6.8 billion that they did allocate for the village of Dawson, right now they're starting to release the money. And now getting a million dollars to put towards operating expenses or back bills. So I'm just trying to educate some of the things that are coming down the pipeline. Now, a couple more things that you might want to pay attention to, residents, is the projects that we're working on. We're working on several projects. Again, y'all know I'm known as the Grant Mayor, Grant Super Mayor. And <laughs> what I do is I go get money, bring it back to our community, and I make sure we put it back in our community. Right now, I just spoke of the water main relocation project. We're working on that now. That was about $660,000. We're working on alley sidewalks and a repayment project that will be coming up in the next month. You know about the 154th Street project, myself and Mayor DeGraff. Then we also have a $2.7 million grant for lead service line replacement project. That is coming up. That's a grant that we did receive. We also got $150,000. That's for the water service line. These are all things under my administration. And you start to wonder how she's going to be able to get this kind of money. Who's working with her to get this amount of money to come to the township, to come to Dalton? In Illinois, the web of politics is shady, right? I think a lot of us already know that. It's often shadowed by alleged corruption. That's why Tiffany Hanger is targeted by the FBI. But I want to talk about some of this pay-for-play schemes. We're going to be talking about these political connections that kept her terrorizing Dalton and the township for years. So in this video, we're going to connect some of the dots. But you guys got to connect the dots. D-O-T-T-S. Dots. Throw out some theories, draw some connections to this pay for play scheme, raising some questions about the integrity of her administration and their financial dealings with the state. Let's get into it. So if you've been on this channel for, I don't know, a second, you already know that Mayor Tiffany Hayward is under investigation for corruption for so many different things. I think she's going to get RICO charges, but I'm not the FBI expert. That's just what I think. We want to dive deep and figure out What's going on? How is she able to continue to terrorize the township? What happened to Kwame Raul, the attorney general? What is going on? Now, I dived a little bit into some of the political connections of Tiffany Haiti. If you haven't checked out this video, you can watch this after this one, but I'll do a little brief recap. So trustees and residents have been raising concerns about unchecked spending and a lack of transparency in their community dealing with Tiffany Haiti. They're feeling frustrated and they tried to request documents and, and trying to figure out What's going on in financial dealings? It, it remained unanswered. Efforts by trustees and residents to involve the attorney general seems like it just never worked. Or you start to question why he hasn't done a damn thing. But it looks like the connections of Michael Dogoldo, who has made a lot of money in billables dealing with the, the village of Dalton, appears to be a significant figure in administration. He exerts considerable influence in town meetings and proceedings. And then as we talked about, it was connections among local powerful figures like Chris Welsh, the Speaker of the House, and his interactions with Mayor Tiffany Hayard. It suggests a network of political and personal alliances affecting the government. So there's some suspicions and some theories that these political relationships are protecting Mayor Hayard from scrutiny and legal action, despite obvious mismanagement and buffoonery that Hayard and her group have committed for the last couple of years. Central to understanding how a substantial amount of money was allocated to Tiffany Hanier's jurisdiction by talking about this person by the name of Don Trotter, former state senator turned lobbyist. His firm, Sacrabias LLC, is deeply entrenched in the political fabric of Illinois. The Dorton Township is giving this company $5,000 each month. You'll see it right here in a second. That's a very handsome retainer. $5,000 each month. Sacrabus LLC operates as a political consulting and lobbying firm. It is listed as a registered lobbying firm in Illinois. It appears in the state's official lobbying list. And it looks like they engage in activities related to political advocacy and influencing public policy, leveraging Trotter's extensive experience and connections with Illinois politics. And why is that important? Well, it's important because Trotter's influence in state politics shows that he connected with really powerful people and have close relationships. He has one close relationship with an influential figure by the name of Kwame Raul, the Illinois Attorney General. Their association forged over years in the Senate and strengthened by a mutual professional respect. Raul really, really respects Trotter. You can look at this quote right here from Kwame Raul. 
I was lucky enough to call Senator Trotter not just my colleague, but also my mentor, my roommate, and my friend, said State Senator Kwame Rowe in a statement released Friday. His intelligence, dedication, and compassion will be sorely missed in the Senate. This underscores the death of Trotter's connections and his potential to sway decisions at the highest levels. Now we're going to dive a little deeper. Who fills the vacant seat? I'm State Senator Donnie Trotter. I represent the southeast side of Chicago and the south suburbs here in Illinois. On February 2nd, I'm supporting L.G. Sims for a commissioner in the 4th Cook County Board District. L.G. Sims is a man of the community. He is a man who I've worked with in Springfield for over 10 years. He worked as my budget director, so he will bring to the county board a financial expertise that is long needed in that environment. We're going to talk about a man named L.G. Sims. He was mentored by Don Trotter. There is never a replacement for Senator Trotter. I'm his successor, never a replacement. Thank you, Mr. President. So what position does L.G. Sims have in the Senate? He is the appropriations chair. This position is not just another title within the Senate. It is the key gatekeeper role with the authority to direct the flow of state funding. Sims, a mentee of Trotter, will significant power in determining which projects are funded and which are not. Looking at the ties between Trotter and Hanier suggests a network of influence that directly impacts the state's financial decisions. It's a reason why she has been able to do whatever she wants for so long. It's a reason why she was able to basically run around being destructive and no one checking her. If it wasn't for the strong people of Dalton trying to get this story out, talking to anyone who were willing to listen, talking to media outlets, talking to YouTubers, the FBI probably would not be there right now. And actually, the, the biggest reason why this has even got to this point is because of people like you, people who watch this content, who who engage in what's going on, who carry, even if they don't live in Dalton, probably never heard of Dalton until now. If this wasn't happening, you can already see the attorney general was not going to do a damn thing. He is connected through all of this. Is a reason why, no matter how many times the Dalton residents have tried to get Kwame Raul to do something, he hasn't. He failed in his duty because he has many connections with people surrounding Tiffany Hayard. That's why the FBI is there. That's why people are probably jumping ship. Regardless of the amount of money that's secured, there's too much shadiness surrounding her. And she is in a lot of trouble for many reasons, more that we'll be talking about in later videos. The investigation into Hanger's dealings is a critical step ensuring that the public officials act in the best interest of their constituents, not at an allegiance to benefactors or personal gain. And that's why Tiffany Hayard is all screwed up. She only cared about personal gain and the people that that's cool with her, unfortunately. So guys, put in the comments below, give me a reason why Kwame Raul has not done a damn thing in this situation. What is holding him back? Any theories? Let me know. This is a theory that we're talking about right here, but let me know what you think of why the attorney general hasn't done anything to truly stop Tiffany Hayard and why now the FBI had to basically clean up after his mess. Let me know. Put in the comments below. Thank you for taking time to watch this video and I'll see you guys in the next video.